Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today, topic that is the all about the cell mediated cytolysis and particular we are exploring the uh, FS and FS and pathway. Okay, so in this first we understand the uh, what is FS or FS receptor. So FS uh, that is the uh, cell surface receptor, glycosy glycosylated protein. Okay, it's also known as the uh, APO1 and CD95. Uh, that belongs to the uh, family or subgroup of family ne human necrosis uh, factor receptor. And this family that contains the intracellular, uh, uh, that is a dead lumen, and uh, it triggers the uh, apoptosis. Okay, so the, uh, here is the name of CD95 and APO1. Okay. So the name CD95 is based on the uh, its designation of cluster of differentiation of uh, 95. Right? Uh, that is the system used for the classified cell surface molecules for the uh, immunologist. That is a just uh, cell surface molecules, number of cell surface molecules that they, uh, they call the CD95. Okay, the name APO1 is derived from the term apoptosis antigen 1. So all of express in various tissues or okay, FS receptor. So particular that express on tissue, for example, the kidney uh, in uh, thymus, okay, and uh, another one liver and heart. And it's also cell, uh, some of the cells possessing this uh, FS receptor that is the uh, lymphocyte, uh, activated major lymphocyte and virus transport lymphocyte. Now the body is the FSL and CD95 L and CD178. So, uh, FS ligands, okay. they uh, bind to the FS receptor, FS ligand, they present the uh, T lymphocytes and another that is the uh, nature killer cell, so, okay, activated T cells, where they present. Now, there is some of the FS, we are talking another, uh, further FS, further about the FS, so the FS, that is the, uh, also available in solu soluble form, but the receptor, uh, function uh, still are unknown okay so the uh, membrane bound receptor are large, largely predominant and highly biological active so the t lymphocyte present in fsl and target cell they present in fs okay the target cell either the uh, virus transfer lymphocytes now that we understand the structure of fs receptor okay so there is the extracellular domain okay this is fpa fsl Okay, and terminal region, C terminal region, anchoring domain. Okay, and it is the uh, most important domain that is the intracellular domain, the uh, domain also called the dead domain. So, this is the uh, extracellular domain that binds to the FSL uh, ligands. Okay, and triggers the apoptosis. So, the intracellular domains, okay, uh, we can call the dead domain, they involve the recruitment of various intracellular signalings, okay, case pass, mainly case pass. Uh, and ultimately leading to the apoptosis. Okay, so now most important pathway that is the FAS, FSL mediated cytolysis, in which first the binding of FASL ligand with the FS receptor. FS ligand, which is present on the uh, natural kill, uh, killer cell or uh, lymphocytes. Okay, and FS receptor, which is present in antigen present in cell or cancer cell. Okay, so the first FS ligand, FS uh, ligands bind to the FS receptor. Uh, then Procaspase 8, okay, this is the Procaspase 8, recruited to the FS receptor to the FS associated protein with the dead domain, that is the FAD, okay, FAD, adapter, which is the adapter. This is recruitment leads to the formation of complex known as the death inducing complex. Now, you can say the disc also. Procaspase 8. Okay, it is an inactive precursor of the form of uh, Caspas 8. This is an inactive precursor. Now, the, within the disc, Pro Caspas 8 undergoes autoactivation auto and cleavage and converting it into the uh, active form, that is the Caspas uh, case 8. Right? The active Caspas 8 then initiates the cascade of proteolytic events, ultimately leading to the apoptosis. So, the first Caspas 8 can activate downstream effector Caspas, such as Caspas 3. This is the Caspas 3. And another that is the uh, uh, the, the uh, case pass eight, okay. They indirectly, okay. They uh, also initiate the mitochondrial mitochondrial apoptotic pathway by cleaving the DNA. 
okay bn that is a pro apoptotic protein now this uh, case pass 3 is more uh, often activated by the upstream case pass such as case pass 8 and case pass 9 that depends on the pathway triggers the cell death now we talking about the type 1 cells such as thymocytes case pass 8 uh, directly cleaves the case pass 3 which is in effect a case pass in type 2 cells such as hepatocytes okay so the case pass 8 this one okay case pass 8 uh, cleave the bid bid is transferred into the in, uh, truncated form that is a cut form here it is there. okay uh, and it's often referred as a tbid now the, the importance of the uh, cut form bid that is the uh, more potent inducer of hepatocytes than the full length of bid now tbid that is the tbid okay they uh, Translocate to the mitochondria, it is to translocate to mitochondria and uh, interact with the other proteins of the BCL2 family, right? This interaction promotes the uh, release of cytochrome C from the mitochondria. The release of cytochrome C from the mitochondria into the cytoplasma trigger the activation of FA, uh, AF1, okay? It's also known as the CAD, FF that is the uh, apoptotic protease activating factor. Okay, this is the most important key factor involved in the initiation of apoptosis. Now, here is the uh, in humans and uh, mammals, CD is uh, homologous to the APF. Okay, that is the APF is the cytoplasmic protein that play, uh, is described that is the play of crucial role into the uh, apoptotic pathways. Now, the CAD uh, function in the formation of the uh, multi protein complex known as the apoptosomes. Okay, so this is the apoptosomes here. Okay, create the apoptosome. This one. Now the apoptosome, uh, they activate the particular case pass nine. Okay, by the uh, auto autocatalyzing cleavage, and activated case pass nine. Okay, which is the trigger the cascade of events leading to the activation of case pass three. Okay, it is case pass three activated. Once the case pass 3 is activated, uh, so the case pass 3 one of the substrate that is the ICAD, okay, here. Now, inhibitory uh, of case pass activated DNA, that is the ICAD, okay. And uh, this is protein that play regulatory role in the process of apoptosis, that is ICAD. Why it is important? Because the ICD involved in the controlling the activity of CAD. Okay, CAD that is the uh, case pass activated DNA is also known as the DFF40. Okay, DNA fragmentation factor 40. Now, in the absence of the apoptotic signal, this entire signal. Okay, so the uh, ICAD binds to the CAD and prevents its activity. CAD activity is prevents by the ICAD. Okay, now CAD is uh, characteristic that is the endonucleus. Okay, uh, that when activated can cleave the uh, nuclear DNA. So, uh, case pass 3. The case pass 3 that cleaves the ICAD and releasing of inhibitory effector CAD. Okay, so CAD uh, that is become active and translocated into the nucleus. Active CAD cleaves the DNA into the, uh, in the nucleus into fragmentation. Right, and this uh, DNA fragmentation is an uh, important step in the later stage of apoptosis. Regulation of FS expression and localization. So, in order to uh, avoid the unnecessary activation of the apoptotic pathways, uh, FS expression and localization tightly regulated through the variety of mechanisms. The first of all, uh, only minimal amount of FS expressed on the plasma membrane, in particular, unstimulated cells. Where is the majority of the receptor localized uh, within the cytosol, particularly Golgi complex and uh, trans Golgi network? Now, the FS mutation disorder. Okay, FS mutation leads to the uh, multiple disorder in both mice and humans. Okay, the first is uh, FS gene, LPR CD95 gene mutation in mice. So, uh, in uh, this uh, mutation into the uh, FS S gene, so the express little or no FS on their cell and have remarkably large lymphoid lymph node and this uh, uh, this uh, leads to the condition called the autoimmune lymphoproliferative syndrome or also known as the Kennel-Smith syndrome 
So in this syndrome, particularly, the increased number of lymphocyte particular T cells in their blood. Okay, this lympho lymphoproliferation can lead to the enlargement of nodes, spleen, and liver. So lymphoproliferative disease. Okay, they are characterized by the accumulation of mature active T and B lymphocytes in their lymph nodes. This regulation of FS FS signaling. So FS and FS ligands mediate cytolysis play a crucial role in the various physiological process, particularly in the immune system. Okay, so this regulation of FS FL, FS and signaling has been associated with the several diseases. Here, uh, here are few diseases. The first is the uh, uh, autoimmune disease. Okay, so in this defect uh, FS FS mediate apoptosis. Uh, the uh, autoimmune disease where is the immune system okay, mistakenly uh, attack your body own cells example includes the systematic mucus erythematous and tumors. okay second that is the uh, immunodeficiency dis disorder in this mutation FS okay gene can lead to the uh, this immunodeficiency disorder okay so in this they uh, normal okay, in normal process body the elementary unwanted or main function immune cells may be impaired Okay, in this case, and this can result in increased susceptibility of the infection. So this is a picture of autoimmune disease. Uh, that is systematic lupus erythematous. Next, there is a neuro uh, neurological disorder also. Okay, so in certain neurology degenerative disease, there is a evidence dysregulation in apoptosis. Right? But there is the exception of Alzheimer's. This is one of the examples that abnormal appearance of neuro neurons has been observed. Okay. Here are some other questions. Okay. Okay, so each, each question and uh, answer in the comment section. This is all about today's video. Thank you for watching.